So I've answered this question before, but because this question has come up again, um, I'm going to answer it again. Why is it that no one cares about um, what's going on, the sufferings in Africa or the sufferings um, in the African diaspora, right? And listen, when I say this, do not, do not take historical accounts and then run with it and go and say an all kind of mean, evil stuff, okay? Because this is not what this is about. This is just about history and looking at history for what it is, okay? Period. All right? Don't go running with it and saying, well, this is why, this is why. Don't do that. Look at history, pipe down and, 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 and listen to history, okay? So historically what what has gone on prior to the transatlantic slave trade prior to the arab slave trade prior all the way back to when china had african people as chattel slaves and they got rid of all the documentation of it because they didn't want it to be found all right all the way back okay every other part of the world just about not every but the majority of it they did not give a full flip about africa or the people of africa okay the reason is Because the leadership in Africa did not force them to. This, I'm, I'm going way back. I'm going way, way back to before there was any bombs and all this other stuff. I'm going way, way back. It was not forced upon them. It was not, before there was any guns and all that, okay? I'm going way, way back. African leadership did not force that respect. They just didn't. I don't know who was way, way back then. None of us do. They didn't force that respect. Mm -mm. Not like they should have. And when I say force that respect, I mean, we are going to trade. We are going to do things on an equal playing field. You're not going to get my people. That was one of the first big mistakes ever that African leaders could have ever done. And I will stay there. That was the biggest mistake ever. That was the biggest mistake. Asia the Middle East, the Arab nations, Europe. They got a piece, the they got a piece of Africa whole and they worked together. All of them worked together. Everybody was trading human souls as the human souls, the trade. Human souls. And where were they getting these human souls from? Africa. What did the people look like? This is just plain facts. Look like me. Over decades, centuries and centuries. Over centuries and centuries. This is what was going on and this is what was being taught to everyone outside of the African continent period that's what was being taught outside of the African continent whether it be verbally whether it be just looking okay visual people who look like me we don't have to care about but we are going to take from that spot we are going to take from that spot because it's okay to. Why is it okay to? Because they're letting us. Haven't they always sold their people to us? Haven't, hasn't it always been okay? 
Hasn't it? Has it? Ha- hasn't it? It's always been okay. It's always been okay. It's always been okay. It's always been okay. I heard um, a long time ago, I believe it was when that cathedral or something burned down in France or something like that. Something happened to it, right? And I read where one of the leaders, the kings in in Ghana, I believe it was, said, oh, I'm here for you because our people, we go way back. We go way back. So whatever you need, this didn't just happen. There have been this, and, and it blew my mind because I'm, I'm gonna stay on that because it blew my mind because on the con within the continent of Africa, there are people who need help. But you said because we go way back, me and you, France, we go way back. Whatever you need, I got you. And that made me go and do a deep dive into what's going on here. Did you more willing to help France? What's going on here? It's something deeper, right? So there, there were partnerships and allegiances. It, this thing goes way back and, and, Unless unless you go back and read, I got documentation of it. I'm gonna put some up right here. Okay, like here's one where um way back in the eighteen hundreds, an African king, they called each other brother and sister and they would send each other something with the with the Queen of Spain. Okay. And um they 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 on good they were on good ties. It's the rulers. That's why that's why no one cared and still cares enough. It's the rulers in Africa. It's the rulers. That's why. Cuz they're bought out. All those little children in the Congo that you can visibly see out there working like slaves. The same thing happened with all the transatlantic, all the Arab slave trades from Antara Duke to Tipu Tip to a whole bunch of other African slave traders and kings and everything else. Like I said before, nobody was doing, nobody, Africa was not going over and taking and taking people from Europe and everything. It was no, 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 no. And when you have people coming to one section Okay. And getting everything they need, all the labor, free labor and everything else and paying one king for it and paying one person for it. And everybody else is, you know, over the years, over the centuries, this is what happens. Apathy. There were a handful of people always fighting to make that stop. Those handfuls of people were in Africa, in Europe, and I'm not sure I didn't study um, the Arab countries. And a handful of people over in, in the Americas and stuff. Yeah, handful of people of different races trying to make that junk stop. But it still hasn't, right? Apathy. This is a learned behavior over centuries. It's okay to ignore African people in the African diaspora. Even African leaders ignore African people.